Alright, hello everybody, and welcome back to the Sea Monkey Games. I'm your host, the Sea Monkey Games, and we're playing the Sly Collection. Oops, don't need to do all that. That's not what I meant to do. I gotta go do all this again. But, alrighty, we're heading to the final episode, episode 8. Anatomy for Disaster, let's go. Okay then. About to face off clockwork, I guess? There we were. Heading no, clock clock, which is so stupid. I'll have to my thoughts until then. Fortress. Though time was short, we made sure to study up on our unknowing host. Arpeggio. Arpeggio. This fucker is the leader of the claw gang? While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects. But he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Yep. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius. And it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the claw gang parts of the for their criminal schemes. And now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's uh -oh. only a matter of time before he puts them back together. And when that happens, well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Hmm. It's also true of that, Sly. Sly Cooper and the gang in. This is the coolest one. Anatomy for Disaster. God, I love when I first seen it. I was like, oh shit, we're we're at the end. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. This is awesome. But All right, and then we're, we're on this air, we're on this blimp, and I'm like, holy shit, we're like in the skies. So we are here. All right, but you know what I do every time I get to the new area? Gotta find those bottles, man. Legit metal eggs. Oh boy, let's do this. Let's look for these bottles. So we can get the final move and we can say we technically 100% of the game. Hello, bottle. The first of 30. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hello. Can I go away? Leave me alone now. He's like, why? What do you want? I just want to go find the bottles. Bottle? Oh, it's a bottle down there. Okie dokie, we just gotta find, you know. Ah! Ah! I thought I could go on that. It, 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 it didn't say, well, you can't. I didn't know, I thought I could go on that. Hmm. <clears throat> God, I got something to talk about. Okay. Oh, hello, birdie. Nope. How you, you can fly, but how? Shit. Go away. Leave me alone. I'm bottle hunting. Dang it. Give me that. Is that a bottle? Yes, it is a bottle up there. Alright, got five. Bottle down there. Gotta watch out for these damn birds, though. Ooh, but you have shinies in those pockets. Me must have those shinies in those pockets. Large gold bar. Hi. Is there a bottle up here? I don't know. I'm about to check. Let us find out. There. And it's about over here. Gonna get the one over here. Is that about way over there somewhere? So I got a whole bunch of them to collect though. Good god. I swear. I, <clears throat> finding bottles are kind of annoying. Because. <clears throat> there's nowhere to find them. 
Alright, uh... Mm-hmm. Can I make it from right here? Heck no, it's gonna be the hardest one to get. But I'm not gonna give up. Because I can't... Of course, I gotta get him. Hmm. I wanted to get the... That's about over there, though. It's about over there. It's about over there. I just know if I find 29 and I don't get that one up there, I know that's the last one. So, I know where that one's at. So, I could just say, screw it, I'll get it later. Let's just find the rest of them. So, let's just try to do this as fast as we possibly can, which I don't think we can. Oh no! You got me! Mm, no bottles. Bottle over there though. She went over there too. Thought that was gonna get me? No, of course not. Mm hmm. Oh shit. Oh crap. Um, hi. Hello. I hear bottle. My yep. I was like, my bottle senses are tingling. Also because I can just hear it. But that's okay. Cause you know why? Cause I'm a bottle fighting master. Oh crap! Who found me? Yeah, he. Nope. Forget I even existed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. So, with that in mind, I uh. But yeah, I'm a bottle fighting master. Uh uh. You didn't hear that? That was just your uh, imagination, there, lad. Cause you sure didn't hear me do that. Oop. Ah, it's a bottle up there. But yeah, shiny, so. I have to get this monies. It's too valuable. God damn it, slow the frick down. So let me steal your money. Be okay with me stealing your money. Alright, thank you for your gold bar. Large gold bar. Go away. Ew. Hmm, I know there's something up there. Damn it. I'm listening to the music. I want to listen to the awesome music. Ah, oh, shit. So I'm just going to wait. I know there's one up there, so I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll get the 29, and obviously didn't get that one. I'm not going to worry, because I know where it's at. I just got to remember to tell myself that. Not the mission just yet. Nope, I want to go to the mission just yet. I want to find the bottles. Which I found one. Ooh. Crap. Yeah, shinies. I want the shinies. Give me what's in your pockets. Your large necklace. Too bad you won't give me your wife, Dad. Or husband. Whatever. I don't really care. <laughs> hmm. Ah! You see nothing. How do I get up there, though? There's the one up there too! How do I get up there though? I need- Oh, what? Ah... Of course. I didn't think it was that simple. Hey, get right here though. Sly! Ooh! Ah, uh, there's a bottle over there. Oh, Kadoki! Ooh! Ten more. 
find these pretty easily. This, this area was actually not that hard of finding the bottles. It's kind of... I mean, there's only so many places you can put them. So, I, yeah, it's kind of like, well... Let me shut up before I'd be like, oh, I can't find the bottle. Where's the bottle at? And I'd be like, yeah, let me shut up. I'll set up until I actually find them all. No, no. Damn it! Just fall. He had the shinies. I wanted to get his shinies, but I couldn't because this jackass didn't want to damn move. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, ah. Oh, sh <laughs> There was no way of avoiding him. It was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna, he's gonna see you. There might be some down there, but I want to make sure that I got all the bottles that was pretty much up here. That'd be extra. Ooh, that's nice. I'm not gonna get that though. Mm. Yep, there I go. I'm saying, where's that bottle at? <clears throat> bottle, find yourself. Show me where the bottle is, so then I can get my stuff going. If I can go start the mission. If I can't start the mission until I find the bottles. That's just the rules. That's the rule of my gameplay. I have to find the bottles. Nice. Ow! Shit. I'll come back when y'all calm down, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I know there gotta be some down there because I didn't go down there yet. I was purposely going to certain spots waiting to go to certain spots because I knew I was going to find something. Ah, hey, hello. 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 At the bottom. Just right there for the pick. I knew there was a bottle right here. Alright, let's see you go on. I would say ground level, but it's not necessarily. Whoa. Damn it. I was trying to steal his things. He had... Ugh. He had the shinies. I wanted his shinies. Anything over here? I don't think so. Gotta listen out for those bottles. Gotta have those open ears. I hear it. But where? Right here. Ooh, hello. Nope. Get it. There you go. Ooh, there's one over there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's one over there. I'm just finding them left and right now. Yoink. Alright, two more. I know three more, but I know where that last one is at. That one has some both of other things, so I just gotta find the other two. Could it be hard to say, honestly? I'm trying to listen out for it, but I can't hear it. Uh, might be down here, may not be. Nope, not down here. Just tell me where the bottle is at. Yeah, the shinies too. God darn, I have to fight him now. God dang it, just go away. Just two, three more, but I know I have to say two more. There's just two more. Come on. Don't do this one this close. Come on. 
We're actually making pretty good time. I hear it. But where? I, n I know I'm not deaf. I mean, I know I'm not going crazy. I know I hear it. I hope we're not talking about that one. I'm like, oh, that doesn't count. That sounds lower than that. Man, that doesn't count because I already know that one is there. I'm talking about another one. Hmm. No, I can find it. No, I can find it. Like, that doesn't count if you get that one. I mean, of course it does, but it's just. I already know that. We'll try to wait to get that one because I have to find that one. I don't know where the rest of them are. I don't know where the rest of them are at. Come on. Don't be afraid to tell me where you're at. I just want to find the bottles. That one keep getting me. It keep telling me, hey, it's a bottle right there. And I'm like, I know, but that one I can't get to. It's like, I can't get that one. That one's just not. Ugh. Cause that one's really hard to get, actually. Where is it at? Did I get them all that could be here? Or did I miss them? And now I know I'm not crazy. I know I hear that. And that's nowhere near the other thing. Small nugget. You still carrying these damn nuggets? I know I hear that one. Mm-hmm. Is that the other one? Holy shit. Yes, it is. I already know where that last one's at. One more bottle. Alrighty. I think I might have just, if I get that bottle quick enough, I might just have enough time just to do that at that one level and then I'll end it there. So let's hope for the best. I can get this one. It's not an easy one. You have to be on a high ass ledge to get it. It's hard to get it though. I could have done it the whole Doesn't matter, we got the bottle, now we can go to the mission. We have all 30 bottles. There we go, we found them all. All the bottles in this very game. I set out a mission that I was gonna get them all, and thus I got them. And now I'm happy. I 100 percent of the game. Oh, hello. Hey! No, 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 that's all I meant. No, let's, uh. Yeah! Okay, now let's do who we do best. Yeah! <laughs> His balding problem. large magnetic fields radiating from inside that blimp. If Arpeggio's already started reassembling clockwork, that's where you'll find him. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Uh, Sly, you know, I normally love your calm attitude, but you're being a little too calm and nonchalant about this whole thing, this whole ordeal. I mean, I'm just saying, like, 
seriously, clockwork literally is the guy that's trying to kill you and your family for generations now. And, you know, you beat him, but yet he, his pieces are still here and he's coming back. And you're telling me you're okay with that? Oh my. Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? Yeah, this music sounds like some damn creepy, you know, scientific project. Some scientist. It's crazy scientist music. <laughs> Reconnaissance work. Take a picture. Take a picture. Too late, you slow bastard. Oh. Damn it. Uh, take it. Now. These magnetic inducers. Seem These to magnetic inducers. Alrighty, let's avoid getting caught. No second chances allowed, eh? Right? That's no pressure at all. Yes, they have things in their pockets, but that's for mission purposes. Does this guy move or he's just pretty much there? Hey, that's Neela. It's Neela! Hi, Neela! How long has it been? It's been what? I don't know. Forever? Where's the fucking exit? All I see is clockwork, and my god, you got a nice improvement since the first game. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Oh man, you tell me I got all the way back over there. God. <laughs> Uh, oops. Haha, <laughs> oopsies. Whew. Phew. Talk about a cold shave. That's not even a joke. Okay, so I gotta go back over here. Can I take a picture from Clockwork? Ah. Damn it. <sighs> How close do I have to get? Not worth it. Stick the picture and go. Eggs. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Back and forth, back and forth. Jeez, Christ. Oh, it's back and forth. It's going to turn me into a, into a damn... I don't know. Alright, let's do this. Okay. Yeah, and Arpeggio, the mad scientist himself. There he is. The mastermind behind this flip and the source of all our problems. All because he wanted to fly. Because he wanted to be a flatless penguin. I can't believe it. Flatless she wing must penguin. Have been working with Arpeggio all along. Well, that's great. I don't need to study those photos to see the writing on the wall. Clearly, Neela and Arpeggio have conspired together to rebuild Clockwork. And it looks like they're dangerously close to realizing their goal. Look, Bentley, I know it's not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop Clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic... 
magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked out tight. Oh it's boy. Oh, we gotta get the keys. <laughs> we gotta get the keys. Reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. Alrighty. I just noticed. So it seems like these last few episodes for the slide two part of the collection series is probably gonna be kind of long, a little bit lengthy because these levels are kind of long. They're not exactly, you know, short. Come on, give me that key. <laughs> Whoa, he stood. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducers. Yeah, sure, Billy. So, yeah. Now that the inducer decks are spinning, slower, but get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. So, yeah, with that in mind, like I said, um, yeah, these episodes are going to be a little bit longer, so I do apologize in advance. Because, I don't know, it just don't seem like, it's too much, I, it's too much to kind of cut out, and I don't really want to cut out anything, so if I do that, it just feels kind of like, eh, I don't know. So, it's just going to be a little bit longer. Okay. Oh god, this is hard. Good thing I have a little thing called time forwardness thing. Hey, I gotta go to bed, but um you know, can you wake me up by like four o'clock? Yep. Because you should be awake by four o'clock, right? Yeah. And uh also mom did say could you if you take the dog out the wall, I got to go to sleep now. Alright. Because it's like a legend now. Alright. Alright. Um, he's right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get him out. Eric, get him out. Yeah. Just edit that part of your video out. Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. I probably won't edit it out because I'm doing too much. So I just, just I'll just suck it up and leave it in. Um, I'm about to fall. I'm talking about mission complete. I'm about to. Oh, well then. I guess that works then. Hmm. Well, this is pretty much cutscene time. Cutscene time. What's all this thing? The magnets have been reversed. But. By Joe, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts of the place. place. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. And he was like, I know someone's there. Sly Cooper! Of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper. No doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuit and be born anew! That's crazy. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal! Mm. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo. And then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were arousing. behind it all. 
You make it sound easy, Cooper. Kind of is. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts okay, was only half the equation. Yeah. Think, Koopa. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Well, it won't be that hard because people hate him, Emily. My meticulous mind has found the way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. Basically steroids. Okay. Extraordinaire devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of, of light waves. waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting Northern Light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah. Hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give clockwork to spark. Uh, I'm not talking because it's just it's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm just going to shut up. So. Sorry for the lack of commentary. Oh shit! Speaking of my commentary. Stupid arpeggio! I double crossed the Cooper guy. God, Neil, you were just a, just a lovely what person, you think I wouldn't do the same to you? No! And when I seen this, I was like, "This is preposterous! <sighs> You're my protege, not the next candidate for my immortality. A man you exit the clockwork frame, or, or, or what?" Oh, he did. Behold, <sighs> is born. That is a dumb ass fucking name. I'm just gonna say that for what that is. That is a dumb name. Well then. As we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the union has produced Blackla. She's out. That's a and dumb free name. To terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy. Oh, but why? Why couldn't it just be Clockwork again? I like the Clockwork in the first game. He was a badass. should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. And Clockwork should say, get out of my shit. <laughs> Push out and it's like, what? It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm taking back. Uh, uh, yeah. jobs in the past, but they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. Today. Okay, this video gone on far, 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 far too long, so I'm definitely gonna end it here because it has been a very long time. So, if anyone make it to this point of the video, thank you for watching because it's been on for a long time. So, 